The health risks of STIs are well documented, with the risk of infertility being the most prominent, but the mental risks are far less spoken about. I spoke to Toby Hewlett, a leading chlamydia screening nurse for the NHS, about the mental effects and the stigma attached to STIs. We talk to people who, who get into floods of tears um, after telling them diagnosis of any illness is going to have a mental impact as well as a, a physical one. And STIs are no different. In fact, they're probably worse because of stigma and associated things on top of them. Sarah is a university student who didn't want to use her real name. She informed me of how chlamydia affected her and how women are treated publicly compared to men. I felt stressed. I think it had a mental effect on me. Um, it takes about a week to clear up. You know that it can go away, but even still, it still makes you feel disgusting. You don't really think it's going to happen to you, but then just one time it does, and then that's it. It just changes you. Girls, it just is associated with um, them sleeping around, like not being careful and things like that. But whereas with boys, it's more like they're allowed if they can like, sleep about. One thing both Sarah and Toby also agreed on was the telling others about STIs, ranked as one of the major causes of stress, and how prevention was more important than a cure. And with strains of gonorrhea now becoming resistant to antibiotics, it now seems chlamydia, the most common STI in the UK, could be next to shrug off the effects of antibiotics. There is a, a strain of chlamydia in Sweden that um, hasn't come over here yet, but may well do at some point, which is uh, resistant to the antibiotics that we use. So um, there's no reason to suspect that it, it won't go the same way. Indeed, with any infection, um, antibiotics over time will become less effective. Callum Hopkins reporting for Newsbeat.